Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and in this Unity 5 mini tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create fire. Okay, so the first thing you'll need to do is go to Game Object and Particle System. I'm not going to rename the Particle System because I'm just going to get on with it. Okay, so over here, if you've not already have it selected, select Normal. And you'll see the Particle System begins to animate. Make sure looping is uh, set, uh, is ticked, start delay zero, um, start lifetime five, yes, start speed will change to let's say one, uh, maybe 1.5, we'll keep it as one. You can either have it as one, 1 1.5, it's up to you. Uh, size fine, start rotation we'll have as 60. Start color, now what you want to do is set a nice deep orange. So about there I would say, that looks fine. Make sure play on awake is uh, ticked. Uh, emission rate, uh, the higher it is the fuller it looks, so if we put 20 more, we'll keep it as 10 for now. Okay, uh, next we'll shape, currently selected as cone, um, sphere, Makes it well go outwards. Um, hemisphere kind of blows it outwards too. Uh, let's say uh, box kind of makes it a, a bigger feel than cone, but we're going to go for cone. Change the angle to let's say zero, and I'm going to change the radius to 0 0.1. The higher this number is, the wider the flame becomes. So if we put it as 10, you'll see it's quite a wide flame. So 0 0.1 that'll do. Okay, let's click on shape just to uh, close that. Uh, next you'll need size over lifetime. Tick the little button there and then click this grey box. You'll notice a line at the top here. Okay, This dot at the end, drag it down to the very bottom and you'll notice here flame ends. So the further left you drag this, the smaller the flame becomes. So I'm going to put it about there for now. You can have it wherever you want on there. So click that to close it down. Next you need rotation over lifetime. Tick the button and let's see, the higher it is the more it rotates as it rises, so if you have say 300, it would swirl around. If you have zero, it would just go straight up. I'm going to set this to 60. And then click to close again. Okay, next what I'm going to do is here, right click, create, a new material. I'm just going to call this flame. Uh, next, I'm going to drag this asset into Unity. You can use any fire asset, but if you want to use this particular one I'm using, there'll be a link to the direct image in the um, description of the video. Okay, next you need to take the fire onto the material. So to do that, head to debug, and here in the save properties, text ends, element zero, second, you'll see non texture straight into there like so okay next drag the material onto the particle system and you'll notice you get that kind of awful look that's fine don't worry okay so what we need to do now to change it back up here Go to normal. So we'll set it back to debug real quick. Just to make sure everything is okay here. It's going to collapse the save properties. Just to quickly check. Yes, that is fine. Okay, so back to normal.
click here and down here on your actual particle system itself you have selected you'll see shader select shader go to particles and you can either select additive or additive soft I'm going to select additive and you'll notice it starts to look more like a flame now if we select uh, additive soft it gives it a kind of soft flame look it's up to you what you want to select these two are the only ones that will work if you try selecting the others it will just do that so make sure you select additive or additive soft okay I'm going to drag it down onto the floor and now I'm going to game object uh, light and <coughs> point light okay so you want to um, drag the point light onto the particle system in the hierarchy and then zero out the position there I'm just going to drag it up very slightly to about there and now I'm going to change the color to a sort of yellowy orange about there I would think that'll do and I'm going to change the intensity to 3.5 maybe a bit too high let's try 2.5 2.3 that'll do okay so when we press play there's our fire nice and simple you can play around with the settings as much as you want i.e. the radius the shape uh, it's entirely up to you so let's change that to one to make a bigger sort of fire a little bit smaller maybe 0 0.5 okay so that is how you make a fire in unity 5 thank you very much for watching